Richard Curtis. This is awesome. Who was that? Guys, guys, it's true. It's backed by popular demand. Richard Curtis oh. is here. Good to be back. Honestly, I'm somewhere between fantastic and wake me up, Richard. You're dreaming. I know. I've got to tell you that, uh, you know, for those of you who uh, may not watch the show, and uh, if you don't, I apologize. It must seem insane. But um, <laughs> Richard Curtis entered a contest to be my co-host for the day. And you were so good at it that we were backstage behind <laughs> your back. You were doing a radio interview, and we were like, okay, we need to get Richard Curtis back for another day. So let's, like, make that happen as fast as possible. Honestly, it, the call, when I got that call to say, do you want to come back, it was the middle of the school day, and I was literally, I threw a chair up in the air, and I was like, ah! <laughs> my, my students were all looking at me like, is he okay? What's wrong with him? I was like, I don't know. It's just crazy. So stuff. what did your students say? Because I was, I, because first of all, I had a lot of thoughts. I was very nervous that you weren't there because it was homecoming and mm -hmm. you were supposed to be hosting the whole homecoming celebration. Yes, yeah, DJ and the dance and whatnot. Yeah. But it was incredible to make it back. The kids, it was funny because we talked about the whole thing and I broke down the whole, the whole day and what we did. This was the biggest question. Okay. What? Curtis, uh, what's, uh, what kind of food did they have in the green room? Oh, my gosh. You didn't tell them the truth, did yeah, you? I sure did. We all have personal chefs. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a whole plethora of a buffet back there. It's yeah. amazing. Oh, my gosh. No, but seriously, what did you tell them? Yeah. <laughs> did you say... Craft service, green room. It what? was it was awesome, I, and they, they couldn't believe me that I, I never ate anything. I was like, you know what? They have this huge spread in the back, but honestly, you're a little, you're you know, coffee in the morning's good. I, I, I was a little nervous last time, so I didn't want to eat the. Yeah, I never, food. I never eat breakfast mm -hmm. before the show. I mean, still, all these years later, 16 years later, I never eat breakfast before the show. Yeah, it's, it's just uh, it's never good. You know what? And, and going back and watching it over again, I I was just as nervous watching it back as oh, it's coming kidding. out. We had a we had a little mini viewing party when I got back. You did? Uh, I invited 40, 50 different friends over, family. My family room was packed. But I got to tell you this, because while I was uh, high on the horse, you know, I'm coming back. I'm so excited. Yeah. The big thing uh, that happened, I was sitting on my daughter's five-year-olds, my daughter's yeah. Leighton, and uh, my mom was sitting right next to me. And uh, my mom turns to her and says, Leighton, how happy are you that daddy's on TV? Yeah. Stone face looks at my mother and goes, well, it's not like it's Disney Channel, Gamma. <laughs> It's true. What does Disney Channel that have that I don't have? And she said, magic powers with princesses. Yeah, that's so right. So this coffee cup is very magic. That's right. That's right. And wait till your first Disney remote with us. And she like, gets all that special. love that. Yeah, she'll be like, maybe Daddy does have magic powers. Yeah. Incredible. Well, it was cool because uh, my local restaurant uh, had a little drink named after me, the Perk. Uh, You're the, kidding. It was called the Rich Curtis. Peanut butter, confetti, chocolate. They, so now everybody... everybody Everybody was rocking it, so it's, and honestly though, it's just so nice to be back. So, I'm so happy um, you're back. So how, I am. Oh, that's good. You guys rock. Hey, what's up out there? Do you, do you think, it, now, are they watching us again at your school? You know what? Hopefully someone's actually teaching something. It's amazing how daytime talk shows have, have taken over the school at this point. Yeah, right. But, uh, you got, you, you know, it's, it's just fantastic. But, you know, yesterday was such a crazy day here in the city. Oh, my gosh. The, I, there are so many marathoners this here. Is, so many. Yeah, this is He took part in this race. I don't know how they do it. Oh, I don't know how they do That's it. That's a whole mindset, right? I, I think so. I went to my friends, uh, Bill and Joanna Persky had a, a carb loading. Uh, friends of theirs were running in the marathon, and they had a carb party and, and invited me. And I got to go, and we sat there, and we were just, like, binging on pasta and bread. And, and at a certain point, 
uh, Joanna said, Kelly, you're, you ha you've barely touched yours, because I'd eaten like half my pasta. She goes, you've barely touched it. And I go, newsflash, I'm not running in the marathon. <laughs> I'm just literally right, right. stuffing my face with pasta, and I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow. Uh, and the card parties are amazing. It's funny because I asked a runner, I went out to dinner last night, and I got to sit next to one of the coolest guys oh I've gosh. ever met. You got to see this. His name's Byron. He ran in the race yesterday. Oh my gosh. Uh, and he finished it. But I asked him, I said, what is your biggest fear of the race. You're not going to believe this. The Verrazano Bridge, you, you've heard of it? Yes. It's a double decker. So if you're not aware, it's, there's a top, there's a bottom. And the mayor, I they, know what he's about to say. Why are you laughing? You I don't know even what know what I'm going to say yet. I know exactly yeah, what like, he's going to say. So uh, apparently, that's the one portion of the race where there's not so many people there. And if you happen to have to go to the bathroom, that's correct. You go over the edge. Mm -hmm. Let me reiterate, it's a double decker bridge. Right. So there's, some people run on the bottom. And some people run on the top. Byron was a bottom. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the funniest thing ever said here on our show. That's incredible. Yeah. So was he wearing his uh, umbrella hat? Yeah. <laughs> There's, there was a sign he said that said, don't look up. Well, I think that was, I think that funny. was, uh, it, um, but w it was your anniversary, right? Woo. Last night was your wedding. Yes. Yes. Get ready, all these years. Six years she's Six had to years. put up with me now oh at this point. Oh, my God. It was um, so nice. We had such a good time. You know what? I, I keep saying this over and over, but I wouldn't even be sitting in this chair if it wasn't for my wife. Oh. Um, so, honey, I love you. Yeah. Uh, happy anniversary. I think I was married six years when I started working here. Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh, guys. This is it, right? Isn't that crazy? You know what? Some things are just meant to be. Yeah. Maybe I was married five years. I'm not sure. Five or six years. It was like right, right at the beginning of my marriage. Yeah. And yeah. you know, the, some say it's the best years. Yeah. So it was uh, the sixth year, and I guess it's the um, champagne, uh, the champagne anniversary. So. I always um, say it's the diamond anniversary. That's <laughs> Over and over and over, over and Mark's over like, again, again, how many times? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we went out. We had a great uh, champagne and steak dinner. That's oh, so nice. Do you know the, the meals that you're eating yeah. and, like, every bite you take, it's like, oh, my gosh, that was the best bite of my life. Mm -hmm. um, that was last night for us. Oh, my gosh, that's was, so great. Where did you go? Uh, quality Meats. Oh, I love that restaurant. Oh, yeah. So it was so good. Yeah. I had to ask for a mini fridge when I got back to the room because I had leftovers. Oh, you leftovers. Right? There's no way I was going to let those go to waste. <laughs> you know, so my husband has this thing, like, he gets embarrassed to take leftovers home, and I do not. I don't have that. So, and so now my kids have gotten that also from him, like, they're embarrassed. So now I carry leftovers out of a restaurant, and you would think that I'm actually a takeout delivery person because I've got everybody's, <laughs> I've got everybody's leftovers. I've got the foil swan. I've got yeah. all this. I don't care. And like I don't. Going bags on each yeah, arm up to the elbows. The, yeah. Guys, I got them. Don't worry I about it, it. I got it. You I don't understand that. You don't want to let it go. Like I, it was just so good. So I can't wait to get get back because we're gonna have a great lunch with all these leftovers. <laughs> oh my again, god, so. so lucky. Yeah, so, so fun. Um, so, but you, so you, you did meet an actual runner. Yeah. Yeah. From the and Byron said he finished. Uh, he was rubbing his thighs all dinner. Um, Did you all foam roll and rub your thighs? And <laughs> now let me ask you a question, because this is because Richard Curtis and I want to know for next year. How many calories do you burn, and can you eat whatever you want while you're training? Anybody say whatever you want. No. 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 Twenty-five hundred calories. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Basically, you just have to eat one cheeseburger and you're finished at that point. 10,000 calories? Yours said you burn 10... Okay, I like yours better. <laughs> well, wait, you're not wearing a me You're not wearing a medal. I forgot them. You forgot them? What? Does anybody want to let them borrow theirs? <laughs> they're, like, they're like, nope, I've earned this. No one's it's getting it. In our room. You guys, you guys burn 10,000 calories because their thing told them. <laughs> and I like their thing better than your thing. <laughs> Don't you like that we're calling it a thing? A thing, a yeah, thing. Yeah, a thing. That's a huge medal, though. Like, that is a monster. But that's every every mile is worth that thing. You guys, again, congratulations, because right. your mindset is just huge. We should point out that the... Um
they, they set a record. The youngest winner, the youngest winner in race history, 20-year-old man named Germay uh, Gebra Salahi. I hope I said that correctly. That was close. I know I could. That could be completely wrong. He uh, ran the marathon in two hours, seven minutes, and 51 seconds. And, uh, wow. And Mary Kaitani, Kaitani, of course, from Kenya. She's she's run it now. This is her third consecutive win, and she ran it in two hours, 24 minutes, and 26 seconds, which is usually wow. how long it takes me to run about five miles. <laughs> That's a 5K. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, congrats to both of those guys. What what amazing uh, amazing times and finishes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So a lot going on around the country, yeah, you know, lot. with the New York Marathon here, mm. but a crazy story out of Oklahoma yesterday. Uh, there was an earthquake in central Oklahoma I heard that which uh, and they said thank goodness um, not n not a lot of damage happened it's a miracle but th you know what this this made me think about how if you're just in a building mm -hmm. uh, and uh, just the, the thing starts shaking in New York City it's basically anything that's above a subway right right you, you get into these things and you're like oh oh you know what's going on but these guys I mean I can't even imagine you're trying to eat dinner and things just start shaking yeah well it's it's a feeling I think that a, a lot of uh, there are lots of places that have uh, tremors all the time and earthquakes and you know uh, mountain regions and all of that but it's places like that you don't I don't think you would expect to yeah. have an earthquake in Oklahoma well, right they, they haven't they have enough to deal with that's like tornado land right that's like they've got that to deal with so you figure you only get one natural disaster thing to worry about right so they get the they get the tornadoes yeah california gets the earthquakes now that's totally unfair for them to get an earthquake that, that doesn't <laughs> they, make it's sense. piling on at this point yeah. uh, what's what's going to be great is we are our, uh, our caller today for our trivia contest yes. is actually from oklahoma so yeah, we will definitely yeah, right ask there. her about it yeah. see what's going on and, and kind of get to the yeah. bottom of things yeah now we had the um, the extra hour. Did you all enjoy your extra hour of sleep? That was nice. That was nice. I, I have mixed mixed feelings and mixed emotions about this. You guys know this about me. I do enjoy the extra hour of sleep, although I don't enjoy being plunged into darkness one hour earlier. Yeah, it's six o'clock p.m. It it's makes unbelievable. me very sad. Um, but but then again. There is something about that extra hour that feels very inefficient. You know, like I signed up for a one o'clock exercise class yesterday, and it's and it felt like it took forever to get to one o'clock yeah. because I had been up for so many hours, even though I felt like I was sleeping forever. Do you know what I mean? You're doing yeah. the watch thing all day. You're like, oh, it's only two o'clock, honey. Only, it's, right. We have all day left. It's two o'clock, and my kids are asking me for dinner. Yeah, it's like, I don't know on. why that one hour has screwed everybody up so much. It's an, it's insane. So yeah. we're eating lunch yesterday, and we said the same thing. We're like, oh, we gotta hurry because we gotta go. And we're like, no, we don't. Yeah. Turn them back. So they're saying nice. that a, a lot of people are trying to get rid of daylight savings time. They want to get rid of it. And it's by the way, it's not daylight savings time. It's daylight saving time. Right. Did you all say it with the S? Because you're saying it wrong. Don't say it with the S. <laughs> Don't say it with you. It's daylight avings time. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're saying they should get rid of it because it, we don't really benefit from it the way mm -hmm. we used to. We used, it used to be a necessary thing, and now it's not so necessary. There's also people that think that we should get rid of time zones. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Yeah. <laughs> Put everybody on the same time. Right. It exactly. would make no sense. Imagine if we're all on New York East Coast time, all, no matter where we went. You know, we right? get, and, that's, and that's the thing. So we have a big day again tomorrow now. Oh, uh, it's almost here. This is, I mean, we are... It's, it's so important that everybody, this is, this is the only thing, this is a PSA for everyone. Vote, look, vote, vote. Look up your polling place and actually vote today. So you can look up the polling place online and get your butts to those polls tomorrow. Yeah, you, I mean, you have to. It's your franchise. Do it, do it, do it. And then, um, and then, and then this S show will be over because that's what it's been. It's been crazy. Man. It's been absolute bonkers. I am. We are all traumatized, right? Yeah. We are traumatized. I've heard enough stories. I'm not kidding. It is. I. I. I don't sleep anymore. All I do is read the news. All I do is watch the news, and I'm ready for. Uh, I'm ready for a little levity again, and I'm ready for us to just get back to being good to one another again. Yeah, we're ready to move on. Is the big thing. We're just definitely say, ready. Um, very quickly, uh, just uh, want to send our love out uh, out there to our friend Michael Bublé and uh, his his uh, 
little son has been diagnosed with cancer, Noah, who's three years old, and um, and he was here visiting with us last week, and uh, and and it's just horrible news. And of course, we will do anything um, to help you, Michael. Our our thoughts and all, of course, all of our prayers are with you and your family. Absolutely. And we love you very much. So, very bad news. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, watch this. The other day I wore my reading glasses and then I discovered I could see. <laughs> and what a big difference, right? Very yeah. smart. I, no, I don't look smart but, Very the, smart, but the good news is there, there have been words on those cards. <laughs> This whole time, this you've been squinting to see this them. Whole time, this whole time, I'm like, it. I don't know what that says, Can, but I'm I so happy I to like see. you in glasses. Yeah. Like, yeah. seriously, I, it's a nice change. It's a nice change. I don't like glasses. I, I, I find them... I don't like, uh, they feel constricting on my face. I feel like I'm wearing a boa constrictor on my head. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Hey, Sarah Jessica Parker's Ooh, here today. Unbelievable. Listen to these guys. From the series Supernatural, Jared Padalecki is here. It's that time of year again. Dr. Greg Yapolitor is here. He's going to give us the good news and the bad news and the horrible news about the flu this season. Um, uh, I am so scared. Can I be honest with you? This morning I woke up. All I cared about, not even, like, I'm so nervous. I wasn't nervous about the show. I'm nervous about getting this needle in my arm. We're getting flu not, shots today. Do you not today. get flu shots? No. No. What? You, you work with all of those kids. Aren't you afraid of getting the flu I and work in a cesspool and... of germs. Yeah. I don't touch anybody. It's all elbows. Hey, what's up, bud? Good to see you. Yeah. Throw the elbow out there. Well, I've got a lot of questions for him because one of our uh, one of our staff members here, who shall remain nameless, but his name rhymes with Michael Gelman, <laughs> came into work with the flu. The full-on flu. He, I, I was cured by the time. He told us he was cured because he had read on WebMD that he was cured. <laughs> he looked very uncured to me. He, I watched him break into an active sweat in front of my face, and then he suppressed a wet cough in my dressing Stop room. Stop it. And I was like... That's where you asked for him to be removed at that point. You have to. I said, are you sure? Just a throat clearing. You're not sick? And, he, and he's like... I've been, I've been on, what is it, not, uh... Tamiflu? Oh, uh, yeah. I've been taking Tamiflu, Kelly. I think I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Can't trust him. Can't yeah. trust him. I mean, that's half the battle, is if you're sick, stay home. Stay home. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah. you. You should come, though. You should come. I was come. already better. <laughs> he was already better. I was sick better. on, like, Wednesday and Thursday. When you, when you were here! I didn't know I was sick then. But you were contagious. Once I had the flu, I stayed home for the weekend, and I came in on Monday. Guys, ding, 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 that's round guys, one. That's round here. one. You're hearing the crazy, right? Oh, yeah, okay. oh, yeah, We're I'm on your side here. We're going to get into Dr. Yeah. And we should also Can't have really. a, a psychiatric therapist yes, here as well. Yeah, good idea. Talk to you about, yeah. yeah. About you. We'll have a he's like, session. WebMD told me I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, listen, we're starting a new trivia game today. This is very exciting. I am so glad so we to don't be here. have our lightsabers anymore. No, no more lightsabers. Okay, here. Have Cover your. Is on. that a gin and tonic? That Cover is. That, uh, okay? I'm not allowed to answer and, that question. Uh, all right, so it's time for lives, lives a party, party travel, travel trivia. so glamorous. <laughs> I feel like it's New Year's Eve. I feel like it's New Year's Eve. Really? New Year's Eve. Balloons everywhere it's incredible. here. Incredible. Um, let's see today's trivia dancers. Alex Pierce from Centerville, Ohio. Hey. hey, Alex. They're telling me it's your second time running the marathon. Yes, it is. So how did it differ from the first time? The first time I ran, and this time I threw up. Oh. oh. <laughs> did you cross the Verrazano Bridge? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I did finish. That oh, okay, good. Congratulations. Nice Fantastic. Now, listen, you had mentioned before our trivia dancer is from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Her name is Jenny Kimball. Let's say hi to her. Yeah, let's See bring her off hold here. She's okay. 
Jenny, are you there? Yeah. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Richard. Hey, Jenny. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you guys? We're concerned about you. Any um, damage there? Because uh, there was an earthquake in your neck of the woods, right? Oh, yeah. It, you can feel it really hard here in uh, Broken Arrow, even though it was a little ways away. But, no, the house is okay. Just the walls were creaking and cracking and things rattling everywhere and the animals barking. No kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah. how, how many animals do you have? Uh, too many. <laughs> I have two dogs and four cats and Ooh. fish and frogs. <laughs> you got a your whole zoo there. Did they uh, have a zoo? Did the animals like give you an advance warning? You know how they always say animals seem to know when something's mm -hmm. about to hit the fan? No, I guess mine are kind of getting used to it because we've had several earthquakes. They didn't start barking until everything was rattling and the walls were creaking and cracking. Oh. Kidding! I don't associate Oklahoma with earthquakes. I should read more often. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess there must be faults. I don't know about that. Okay, we're gonna spin the wheel and see what you're playing for. Okay, Jenny? Yeah. Uh, here's a great prize, the Galley Bay Resort Ooh. and Spa in Antigua. Seven days, six nights in a deluxe beachfront room. All inclusive, this trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $9,300. Jenny, you have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck. Good luck, girl. Here you go. Christian Slater appeared on Friday's show. What singer's arrival did he say woke him up at 2 a.m.? Brittany Martin. Hey, she got it. Congratulations. You and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Galley Bay Resort and Spa in Antigua. An intimate hideaway for discerning travelers. The Galley Bay Resort and Spa is an all-inclusive beachfront resort situated on 56 acres of private paradise. Enjoy a three-quarter mile long stretch of beach on the sunset side of Antigua. A new fitness center, coffee shop, and rum bar, and much more. Your price is valued at approximately $9,300. Hey, Jenny, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now you get to help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a $500 gift certificate from Bed Bath Ooh, and Beyond. Baby, that's a hot gift. That's a hot gift. So please pick a number between 1 and 235. Uh, let's do number um, 29. <laughs> Still ahead on live, Richard and Kelly get their flu shots from the series Supernatural, Jared Vilecki. And coming up next, Sarah Jessica Parker. And tomorrow's show from the new film, lead for this, Miles Teller will be here. He's fantastic. Yes. Uh, from the series Blackish, David Dix is going to be yes. here. Yes, and from Scandal. Now listen to this. It's election day tomorrow, so we have Tony Goldwyn, who played the president on TV, to give us... Perfect. That's a good choice. I don't know who made that up, He's but that's a good one. He's going to give us the minute-to-minute -minute, uh, updates of what he thinks is going on behind the scenes. <laughs> now she's one of our favorite stars from television and film. Please welcome the lovely Sarah Jessica Parker. All right. Yes, heroes. Heroes. heroes, literally, yes, literally heroes. They all ran the marathon. It's, uh, it's so impressive. I, I, I sort of, uh, I became very uh, uh, undone. I didn't know what to do. Sj, have you ever run a marathon? Absolutely not. Absolutely yeah. not. Hey, join the club. Join I would be the club uh, here. hospitalized immediately, uh, just for there embarrassment. No, there are women there no. that swear that we can do it. No, 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 no. We'll. Ha we need a c about two minutes together, and I will explain to you, <laughs> and it will become abundantly 
clear why I should not sully the great institution of the, the oh, marathon. Frankly, marathon. Any marathon. Any marathon. Any marathon. Well, no. but now listen, is this true? Did James Wilkie turn 14 already? Yes. Because I still did. think of him as newborn James But Wilkie. we have the Even, same. I, we, I know, I know. It makes no sense. It makes sense that your child might turn 14 one day. He will one but day. But never shall my own. It flies, no. right? No, it, it completely does. flies, but, blink of an eye, and it's but, done. But, well, just one second about it, Richard Curtis. Richard so good to Curtis. see you. Yes. Um, I feel like I feel like you've been like you've been Made secretly doing talk shows uh, for like the last ten yeah. years. That's, it's, it's, that's it's, the nicest compliment you've ever. That's fantastic. Yeah, she knows. She like, oh, that's so kind. Honestly. She, by the way, she knows. Yeah, she, yeah, no, no, totally. I'm just as an audience. It's just. Thank it's you so really much for saying that. It's really quite something. Like uh, I was trying to think of like comparisons, like a fish to water, like a magnet to a refrigerator, like a moth to a flat, like, like peanut butter to jelly. To peanut butter to no. jelly. I'm actually in my basement all the time. You know, Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Party time. Excellent. He teaches, you know, he teaches this to students. He teaches you talk teach, like, like, No, he teaches like yeah. media. Oh, like yeah. media. Yeah. I mean, you teach yeah. that. That's the coolest yeah. thing. You know. We I got, was like, oh my God, what are their? Gosh, he, what, well, how will they get through the day without him? You know, I was told that you were going to be here and you're a teacher. And I was <laughs> thinking of like, oh, you know, filling in and the kids. And I was like, wait, what, what, am, I, what am I worried about? Why am I worried about Richard filling in? Curtis, right? <laughs> like, why am I worried about a, the kids? Like, the school will you've, step you've, in. You've done so many awesome things. Like, you're, you've been here. So that means so much for you to say that. And obviously, one of the biggest is uh, the sex in the city. I mean, I, you guys, you got to give it up, right? This is unbelievable. This is the question we always ask. This is your, this is the, the it's like on a loop, this question. Yeah. Will there be another Sex in the City movie? I never can thought you I'd... Can you <laughs> tell us? It's so weird. Can you tell us? Uh, absolutely. I think today would be the day to make Here a great announcement. Uh, that, once again, I, I have no real oh. answer. We were so close. We were so close. My attorney has, um... It was, so, we were this close to getting a scoop. Here's yeah. the thing. I feel like, let's get past, let's, let's, all let's all get past the next 24 48 hours mm. and then we can focus again on important things like three equals to movie <laughs> like, you know like really take the time to right. like right think about anything. Anyway. what are you gonna do on election night like what because um, I already I got a prescription for Librium <laughs> for Librium for Librium in case you want some is there does they do they still make they made Librium is are, are more oh, why are you asking him? him because he's my he's where I get my prescription oh. from <laughs> I feel like that's in the category of nebutol, like Librium, nebutol. Yes, like, yes. Is he that gets 1970s thing? drugs from yeah. somewhere. I don't know where. I, I, I want to be wide awake. I want to be as I want no no yeah. I want to be in, present in the but moment, less, totally. I want to be I want to be present. Slightly numb. But you want to be able to manage your feelings. Yes. Yes. And yet still drink while yes, I'm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, it's election night. It's election night. You have to. I, I don't know if Librium and alcohol. You can take, you can oh, drink. You, yes, you really we've done our research. You can drink. Okay. That's why. Anyway. This is like WebMD all over again. This is so good. We've accomplished an enormous amount. We're going to take a commercial break and talk about divorce. Yes, pull ourselves together. When we, when we come back. Oh, that was so good. Yes. So good. Yes. Which is a comedy. <laughs> it's a hysterical comedy about a marriage falling apart. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> uh, gosh. Uh, well, um, it's a story that maybe maybe you might you might not have experienced it, but it's likely that you have friends or siblings or loved ones or even parents that have been through, um, or you've witnessed a marriage. Um, fall apart in an attempt at divorce which is painful and and shocking and brutal but also has surprising moments of humor and there are things that are amusing about sort of the environment that's created but the show is actually in all sincerity though it is funny it is a, actually a rather um i don't know kind of real look at at an, an, Ameri an American marriage. You, yeah, you, you know? watch this this show, and I, I just got to say, like, I didn't think I would love this going into it. I love this show. <laughs> Good. I'm happy. I'm I'm sad. <laughs> I'm laughing, and then I'm back to sad again. Yeah. And it is unbelievable how you guys were able to make this concept of like a really honestly true look at, at kind of what this is all about. Well, thank you. I mean, that's certainly what we wanted because we feel as if that. Um, it, illustrates what a lot of people have experienced and um, I think it's a really 
I don't know. I love these characters. I think it's sometimes painful to pe for people to, to watch it happen. But I They're think afraid to watch it. Maybe they, people think, think divorce is contagious a lot of times. Yes, but I think, th thankfully, they're not afraid to watch it because no, they're no, watching. No, no. But I think there is something... Um, slightly unnerving about seeing unhappiness yeah. and disappointment and failure. Yeah. But I think the characters, and in large part due to the great actors um, on the show and this extraordinary writing, are just really interesting to observe. Yeah. And it's, um, I'm just so thrilled with the show. I didn't mean afraid to watch it. No, I meant I'm mean, afraid, uh, afraid to bear witness to actual yes, divorce. Yes. People are afraid Absolutely. it will affect It's them. tough to watch. Yeah. It's tough yeah. to see it that. It is kind tough, of. but, yeah. it's, um, it, it's, it, but it's, I don't know, it's heart running and touching and funny and ridiculous. Such such a, fun, such a fun show. I'll be keeping going. Divorce Sunday nights at 10 p.m. on HBO. Make sure you check out The Divine. Sarah Jessica Parker. 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 Sarah Jessica
Does this stuff happen? Like, what's going on out there? Depends who you ask, I guess. Our, okay. our, our original tagline was sort of two brothers crossing Route 66 looking for things that go bump in the night. Yeah. Um, scary. And, uh, scary. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, we just finished filming our 251st episode. Yeah. 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 Thank you, guys. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Sci-fi It's history, the longest right? running sci something. Right. Sci-fi series. Sci-fi yeah. series. Yes. Uh, and I laugh. Um, I mean, uh, not that I'm ancient now by any means. When I started the show, I was 22 years old. I was a single guy kind of doing my thing. Right. Now I'm 12 years older, father of two, about to be father of three in March. Oh wow. Gosh. Wow. That's a big announcement. That is a big announcement right there. So that's, that's incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what, what big things should we be looking out in season 12? What, what should we be looking for as, as this kind of unfolds? Fair. Um, so I think when we started, <clears throat> we were sort of doing Monster of the Week, for lack of a better term. It was like sort of X-Files or Twilight right. Zone and doing like, okay, what's scary in this town? What's, yeah. What happened weird in that town? Then we kind of did uh, a long, when we were like, wait a second, we might actually get picked up for more than a year. We told a longer story, <laughs> yes. uh, not like an episode by episode. Right. Um, and we've gone in circles a few times, and now we get to go back to sort of, I don't want to say monster of the week, but more kind of small scale. You know, we ended up doing episodes with, with Lucifer and God yeah. and yeah, God's sister. It, yeah. it got really intense. Uh, and now we're kind of going back to, to what got us here in the first place and telling the individual stories, which I, which really attracted me in the yeah. first place. I had just come from Gilmore Girls, and I was used to doing stories about relationships mm -hmm. and about sacrifice. The heartthrob mm -hmm. on Gilmore Girls. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 Professionally, but I'm thank happy you. for you personally. As yeah, well. thank you. Supernatural yeah. reports airs Thursdays, 9 p.m. on the CW. So make sure you check out. Next to those screenshots. I'm nervous. We'll be back in just a second. Hi, we're back. <laughs> Everybody is already talking about it, guys. Guess what it is? The flu. <gasps> season is here. Here to tell us the bad news and the really bad news about this year's flu season <laughs> is our very own flu shot doctor, Greg Yapoliter. Hey! Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So can, can you give us the bad news about the flu? The bad news, the, the flu virus keeps on changing, keeps on mutating quickly and easily. That's bad news. So we can't one. get ahead of this thing. You can't get ahead of this thing. That's why you need your flu shot every season. New mm. flu shot. The flu shot gets reformulated every what season. What about the mist? I see a lot of needles here. That's a big change. This year Year, the mist is no longer recommended. No nasal spray this year. But why? Only the injectables. But why? The efficacy is not shown to be very good. I don't even know what Eesh. efficacy means. It's not oh, very yeah. effective. It's not very effective. Oh. So we oh, do I have other ones. We have the small little tiny little intradermal needle oh. for people okay. that are needle phobic. We have the pediatric version. We have the adult version. I think I might Any pediatric injectable version, version would point. be fine this year. Yeah. So look, let's stay off the bad stuff for a second. What's the good news here? We have a vaccine. Oh. We're going to be saved. We're all saved. Some years they say that the vaccine wasn't good. Some years they say it is good. Is this the good Is this the good vaccine or the bad vaccine? You know what? We're not magicians. We're physicians. Okay? We can't foresee the future. Okay? Oh, come on. So the vaccine is as good as we can get. It's reformulated every year to try and match the flu strains. That what about Gelman? Did he get us all sick, as a matter of fact? If you were within six feet of him when he coughed or sneezed mm -hmm. or spoke, oh my God. you have been exposed. Is she what? exposing me now? We're, Should I be backing up? We're probably all dead now. We're so, all dead. So, let's go ahead and do the vaccine. Okay. Kelly, now you're not allergic to eggs. No. That's also a big change this year. You can get the vaccine as long as you don't have severe egg allergy. I don't have severe egg allergy. Are you sick today? No. Okay, should we do the right side or left side? Are you right handed or left handed? I'm a right handed Ooh. person. Let's do the left side. Okay. okay. All right. Here we Come go. on, guys. She's going to need some applause here because this is, Take some this is scary. Do you want me to hold your hands? Sure. I'll be the dad. I'll Take be the dad here. Take it's some gonna be deep okay. Breath. Count Breathe it down in, for me. Deep breath. There we go. Here goes the vaccine. Don't Ooh. cry. Very good. Ooh. And done. Stone face. Did you just stone face that shot? I've had three kids. I don't feel pain. All right. All right. Listen, we're gonna come back and we're gonna inject you, Richard. <laughs> Curtis's flu vaccine. Now, because nervous, he works in a, in a high school and he's exposed to a lot of kids, we have this special flu vaccine for him. Okay. That's <laughs> for the individuals. Oh, my uh, God. You know, uh, oh, that is, oh, thing oh, is a oh, monster. Oh, that is a monster. Right. Is that but, 
but, but you know, however, that goes in the buttocks. That's the one exactly. So let, let's over the table here. Are you gonna, so, so the flu vaccine. We're gonna give you the genuine flu vaccine. We're gonna relax, take some deep breaths. Now look, you went in pretty fast with her. Maybe yeah. we slow it down a little no, bit. No, no, fast is much fast better. Is much better. Want. I okay, like now the Now don't forget that we yeah. can diagnose the flu now in five minutes with a, a, a quick swab from the nose. Okay, I'm not gonna and look. Also, we can treat the flu. Take care. some deep breaths. Take some deep breaths. We can treat with yeah. Tamiflu, so always, but remember, when you have the flu, Ooh. stay home. Yeah. All right. Oh, my Thank gosh. You, Thanks, Kelly. Appreciate yeah. you guys having me. Bye. See you guys. Take care. We got My gosh, guys. This is it, right? Isn't that crazy? You know what? Some things are just meant to be. Yeah. Maybe I was married five years. I'm not sure. The five or six years. It was like right, right at the beginning of my marriage. Yeah. And yeah. you know, the, some say it's the best years. Yeah. So it was uh, the sixth year and I guess it's the um, champagne, uh, the champagne anniversary. So I always um, say it's the diamond anniversary. <laughs> over and over and over. over and Mark's over like, again, again, how many times? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we went out, we had a great uh, champagne and steak dinner. That's oh, nice. Do you know the, the meals that you're eating Yes. And like every bite you take, it's like, oh my gosh, that was the best bite of my life. Mm -hmm. um, that was last night for us. Oh my gosh, that's was, so great. Where did you go? Uh, quality Meats. Oh, I love that restaurant. Oh. Yeah. So it was so good. Yeah. I had to ask for a mini fridge when I got back to the room because I had leftovers. Oh, you leftovers. <laughs> There's no way I was going to let those go to waste. Do you know, so my husband has this thing, like he gets embarrassed to take leftovers home and I do not. I don't have that. So, and so now my kids have gotten that also from him, like they're embarrassed. So now I carry leftovers out of a restaurant and you would think that I'm actually a takeout delivery person because I've got everybody's, <laughs> I've got everybody's leftovers. I've got the foil swan. I've got all this. I don't care. And like I don't. Going bags on each yeah, arm up to the elbows. The, yeah. Guys, I got them. Don't worry I about it. it. I got it. You I don't, don't understand that. You don't want to let it go. Like I, it was just so good. So I can't wait to get, get back because we're going to have a great lunch with all these leftovers. Oh my again, God. So. so lucky. Yeah. So, so fun. Um, so, but you, so you, you did meet an actual runner. Yeah. Yeah. From the and Byron said he finished. Uh, he was rubbing his thighs all dinner. Um, Did you all foam roll and rub your thighs? And <laughs> now let me ask you a question, because this is because Richard Curtis and I want to know for next year. How many calories do you burn, and can you eat whatever you want while you're training? Oh. Anybody say whatever you want. No. 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 Twenty-five hundred calories. 2500. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Basically, you just have to eat one cheeseburger and you're finished at that point. 10,000 calories? Yours said you burn 10... Okay, I like yours better. <laughs> well, wait, you're not wearing a medal. You're not wearing a medal. I forgot them. You forgot them? What? Does anybody want to let them borrow theirs? <laughs> they're, like, they're like, nope, I've earned this. No one's getting it. You guys, you guys burn 10,000 calories because their thing told them. And I like their thing better than your thing. Don't you like that we're calling it a thing? A thing, a yeah, thing. Yeah, a thing. That's a huge medal, though. Like, that is a monster. But that's every, every mile is worth that thing. You guys, again, congratulations because your mindset was just huge. We should point out that the... Um, they, they set a record, the youngest winner, the youngest winner in race history, 20-year-old man named Germay uh, Gebra Salahi. I hope I said that correctly. That was close. I know, I could, that could be completely wrong. He uh, ran the marathon in two hours, seven minutes, and 51 seconds. And, uh, wow. And Mary Keitani, Keitani, of course, from Kenya, she's, she's run it now. This is her third consecutive win, and she ran it in two hours, 24 minutes, and 26 seconds, which is usually wow. how long it takes me to run about five miles. And Richard Curtis. This is awesome.
Who was that? Guys, guys, it's true. It's backed by popular demand. Richard Curtis oh. is here. Good to be back. Honestly, I'm somewhere between fantastic and wake me up, Richard. You're dreaming. I know. I've got to tell you that, uh, you know, for those of you who uh, may not watch the show, and uh, if you don't, I apologize. It must seem insane. But um, <laughs> Richard Curtis entered a contest to be my co-host for the day. And you were so good at it that we were backstage behind <laughs> your back. You were doing a radio interview, and we were like, okay, we need to get Richard Curtis back for another day. So let's, like, make that happen as fast as possible. Honestly, it, the call, when I got that call to say, do you want to come back, it was the middle of the school day, and I was literally, I threw a chair up in the air, and I was like, ah! <laughs> my, my students were all looking at me like, is he okay? What's wrong with him? I was like, I don't know. It's just crazy So stuff. what did your students say? Because I was, I, because first of all, I had a lot of thoughts. I was very nervous that you weren't there because it was homecoming and mm -hmm. you were supposed to be hosting the whole homecoming celebration. Yes, yeah, DJ and the dance and whatnot. Yeah. But it was incredible to make it back. The kids, it was funny because we talked about the whole thing and I broke down the whole, the whole day and what we did. This was the biggest question. Okay. What? Curtis, uh, what's, uh, what kind of food did they have in the green room? Oh, my gosh. You didn't tell them the truth, did yeah, you? I sure did. We all have personal chefs. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a whole plethora of a buffet back there. It's yeah. amazing. Oh, my gosh. No, but seriously, what did you tell them? Yeah. <laughs> did you say... Craft service, green room. It what? was it was awesome, I, and they, they couldn't believe me that I, I never ate anything. I was like, you know what? They have this huge spread in the back, but honestly, you're a little, you're you know, coffee in the morning's good. I, I, I was a little nervous last time, so I didn't want to eat the. Yeah, fantastic. I never, I never eat breakfast mm -hmm. before the show. I mean, still, all these years later, 16 years later, I never eat breakfast before the show. Yeah, it's, it's just uh, it's never good. You know what? And, and going back and watching it over again, I I was just as nervous watching it back as oh, it's coming kidding. out. We had a we had a little mini viewing party when I got back. You did? Uh, I invited 40, 50 different friends over, family. My family room was packed. But I got to tell you this, because while I was uh, high on the horse, you know, I'm coming back. I'm so excited. Yeah. The big thing uh, that happened, I was sitting on my daughter's five-year-olds. My daughter's yeah. Leighton. And uh, my mom was sitting right next to me. And uh, my mom turns to her and says, Leighton, how happy are you that daddy's on TV? Yeah. Stoneface looks at my mother and goes, well, it's not like it's Disney Channel, Gamma. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> what does Disney Channel that have that I don't have? And she said, for everyone, vote, look, vote, vote. look up your polling place and actually vote today. So you can look up the polling place online and get your butts to those polls tomorrow. Yeah, you, I mean, you have to. It's your franchise. Do it, do it, do it. And then, um, and then, and then this S show will be over because that's what it's been. It's been crazy. Man. It's been absolute bonkers. I am. We are all traumatized, right? Yeah. We are traumatized. I've heard enough stories. I'm not kidding. It is. I. I. I don't sleep anymore. All I do is read the news. All I do is watch the news, and I'm ready for. A, I'm ready for a little levity again, and I'm ready for us to just get back to being good to one another again. Yeah, we're ready to move on. Is the big thing. We're just definitely say, ready. Um, very quickly, uh, just uh, want to send our love out uh, out there to our friend Michael Bublé and uh, his his uh, little son has been diagnosed with cancer. Noah, who's three years old, and um, and he was here visiting with us last week, and uh, and and it's just horrible news. And of course, we will do anything um, to help you, Michael. Our our thoughts and all, of course, all of our prayers are with you and your family. And we love you very much. So, very, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, watch this. The other day I wore my reading glasses and then I discovered I could see. <laughs> and what a big difference, right? Very yeah. smart. I no, I don't look smart, but Very the, smart. but the good news is there there have been words on those cards. <laughs> This whole time this you've whole been time. squinting to this see them. Whole time, this whole time I'm like, it. I don't know what that says, Can but. I'm I, so li happy I to like see you in glasses. Yeah. Like yeah. seriously, I, it's a nice change. It's a nice change. I don't like glasses. I, I, I find them. I don't like. Uh, they feel constricting on my face. I feel like I'm wearing a boa constrictor on my head. But that's neither here nor there. Hey, Sarah Jessica Parker's Ooh. here today. Unbelievable! Listen to these guys from the series Supernatural. Jared Padalecki is here. 
It's that time of year again. Dr. Greg Yapolitor is here. He's going to give us the good news and the bad news and the horrible news about the flu this season. Um, uh, I am so scared. Can I be honest with you? This morning I woke up. All I cared about, not even, like, I'm so nervous. I wasn't nervous about the show. I'm nervous about getting this needle in my arm. We're getting flu not, shots today. Do you not today. get flu shots? No. No. Why? You, you work with all of those kids. Aren't you afraid of getting the flu I and work mono in a cesspool and... of germs. Yeah. I don't touch anybody. It's all elbows. Hey, what's up, bud? Good to see you. Yeah. Throw the elbow out there. Well, I've got a lot of questions for him because one of, our, uh, one of our staff members here who shall remain nameless, but his name rhymes with Michael Gelman, <laughs> came into work with the flu, the full-on flu. He, I, I was cured by the time. He told us he was cured because he had read on WebMD that he was cured. <laughs> he looked very uncured to me. He, I watched him break into an active sweat in front of my face, and then he suppressed a wet cough in my dressing Stop room. Stop it. And I was like... That's where you asked for him to be removed at that point. You have to. I said, are you sure? I am. <laughs> That's a 5K, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, congrats to both of those guys. What, what amazing... Uh, uh, amazing times and finishes yeah, um, yeah so a lot going on around the country yeah, you know with the new york marathon here mm. but a crazy story out of oklahoma yesterday uh there was an earthquake in central oklahoma i heard that which uh and they said thank goodness um not n not a lot of damage happened it's a miracle but th you know what this this made me think about how if you're just in a building mm -hmm. uh and uh, just the, the thing starts shaking in new york city it's basically anything that's above a subway, right? Right. You, you get into these things and you're like, oh, oh, you know, what's going on? But these guys, I mean, I can't even imagine you're trying to eat dinner and things just start shaking. Yeah, well, it's, it's a feeling, I think, that a, a lot of, uh, there are lots of places that have uh, tremors all the time and earthquakes and, you know, uh, mountain regions and all of that. But it's places like that you don't, I don't think you would expect to yeah. have an earthquake in Oklahoma, well, right? They, they, have an, they have enough to deal with, that's like tornado land, right? That's like, they've got that to deal with. So you figure you only get one natural disaster thing to worry about right so they get the they get the tornadoes yeah california gets the earthquakes now that's totally unfair for them to get an earthquake <laughs> that, that they, make, it's, it's piling on at this point yeah. um, what's what's going to be great is we are our, uh, our caller today for our trivia contest yes. is actually from oklahoma so yeah, we will definitely yeah, right ask there. her about it yeah. see what's going on and, and kind of get to the yeah. bottom of things yeah now, we had the, um, the extra hour. Did you all enjoy your extra hour of sleep? Yeah. That was nice. That was nice. I, I have mixed, mixed feelings and mixed emotions about this. You guys know this about me. I do enjoy the extra hour of sleep, although I don't enjoy being plunged into darkness one hour earlier. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock p.m. It it's unbelievable. It makes me very sad. Um, but, but then again... There is something about that extra hour that feels very inefficient. You know, like I signed up for a one o'clock exercise class yesterday, and it's and it felt like it took forever to get to one o'clock yeah. because I had been up for so many hours, even though I felt like I was sleeping forever. Do you know what I mean? You're doing yeah. the watch thing all day. You're like, oh, it's only two o'clock, honey. Only, it's, right. We have all day left. It's two o'clock, and my kids are asking me for dinner. Yeah, it's like, I don't know on. why that one hour has screwed everybody up so much. It's an, it's insane. So yeah. we're eating lunch yesterday, and we said the same thing. We're like, oh, we gotta hurry because we gotta go. And we're like, no, we don't. Turn yeah. them back. So they're saying nice. that a lot of people are trying to get rid of daylight savings time. They want to get rid of it. And it's by the way, it's not daylight savings time. It's daylight saving time. Right. Did you all say it with the S? Because you're saying it wrong. Don't say it with the S. <laughs> Don't say it with you. It's daylight avings time. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're saying they should get rid of it because it, we don't really benefit from it the way mm -hmm. we used to. We used, it used to be a necessary thing, and now it's not so necessary. There's also people that think that we should get rid of time zones. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Yeah. <laughs> Put everybody on the same time. Right. It exactly. would make no sense. Imagine if we're all on New York East Coast time, all, no matter where we went. You know, we right? get, and, that's, and that's the thing. So we have a big day again tomorrow now. Oh, uh, it's almost here. This is, I mean, we are... It's, it's so important that everybody, this is, this is the only thing, this is a PSA, Magic Powers with Princesses. Yeah, that's right. So this right. coffee cup is very magic. That's right, that's right. And wait till your first Disney remote with us. She's like, it's all that <laughs> special. Love that. Yeah, 
Ash will be like, maybe Daddy does have magic power. Yeah. Incredible. Well, it was cool because the uh, my local restaurant uh, had a little drink named after me, the Perk. Uh, You're the, kidding. It was called the Rich Curtis peanut butter confetti chocolate. That, <laughs> so now everybody, everybody was rocking it. So it's and honestly though, it's just so nice to be back. So. I'm so happy um, you're back. So how, I am. Now, are they watching us again at your school? You know what? Hopefully someone's actually teaching something. It's amazing how daytime talk shows have, have taken over the school at this point. Yeah, right. And, uh, you got, you, you know, it's it's just fantastic. But, you know, yesterday was such a crazy day here in the city. Oh, my gosh. The I, there are so many marathoners this here. Is, so many. Yeah, this is He took part in this race. I don't know how they do it. Oh, I don't know how they do That's it. That's a whole mindset, right? I, I think so. I went to my friends, uh, Bill and Joanna Persky had a, a carb loading. Uh, friends of theirs were running in the marathon, and they had a carb party and, and invited me. And I got to go, and we sat there, and we were just, like, binging on pasta and bread. And, and at a certain point... Uh, Joanna said, Kelly, you're, you ha you've barely touched yours. Because I'd eaten like half my pasta. She goes, you've barely touched it. And I go, newsflash, I'm not running in America. <laughs> I'm just literally right, like stuffing my face with pasta. And I'm going to sleep all day tomorrow. I, and the card parties are amazing. It's funny because I asked a runner. I went out to dinner last night. And I got to sit next to one of the coolest guys oh I've gosh. ever met. you got to see this. His name's Byron. He ran in the race yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and he finished it. But I asked him, I said, what is... Your biggest fear of the race, you're not going to believe this, the Verrazano Bridge, you, you've heard of it? Yes. It's okay. a double-decker, so if you're not aware, it's, there's a top, there's a bottom. And the I know what he's about Why to are say. you laughing? You I don't even know what I'm going to say yet. I know exactly yeah, what like, he's going to say. Yeah, they're like, we know. So, uh, apparently, that's the one portion of the race where there's not so many people there. And if you happen to have to go to the bathroom, that's correct. You go over the edge. Mm -hmm. Let me reiterate, it's a double-decker bridge. Right. So there's, some people run on the bottom. And some people run on the top. Byron was a bottom. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the funniest thing ever said here on our show. That's incredible. Yeah. So was he wearing his uh, umbrella hat? Yeah. <laughs> There's, there was a sign he said that said, don't look up. Well, yeah. I think that was, That's I think that funny. was, uh. It, um, but w it was your anniversary, right? Woo! Last night was your wedding. Yes. yes. Get ready, all these years. Six years she's Six had to put up with me now. Oh, this my one. God. It was um, so nice. We had such a good time. You know what? I, I keep saying this over and over, but I wouldn't even be sitting in this chair if it wasn't for my wife. Oh. Um, so, honey, I love you. Yeah. Uh, happy anniversary. I think I was married six years when I started working here. Isn't that funny? Oh, 